Welcome back to Gruber Motor Company. Today we're going to cover our history with Tesla, basically how we got started. Humble beginnings are often common in successful businesses. Hewlett Packard, Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, all started in a garage. The Gruber companies started in a residential home here in Phoenix, and our laundry room served as an electronics lab. Almost four decades later, we have four operating business divisions, with one in particular, Gruber Power Services, refurbishing and servicing uninterruptible power systems, UPSs, on a nationwide level, being the seed and inspiration of our latest division, Gruber Motor Company, involved in Tesla vehicle service. Gruber Power Services clients are major corporations like SpaceX, banks, federal, state, and municipalities, the military, 911 centers, police departments, hospitals, NASA, even the White House, and a majority of Fortune 500 and global companies. The services we perform are a combination of on-site repairs, battery replacements, refurbishing used equipment, and rebuilding battery packs. Our transition into becoming the foremost authority on early Tesla Roadsters came quite innocently and unexpectedly. My wife and I had been fascinated by the notion of propelling a car with an electric motor since our early EV adoption days owning two Priuses, which are actually hybrids with an unimpressive EV motor only range. It was time to replace one of our aging Priuses and I began looking for a suitable 100% battery electric vehicle for my daily commute. I found a used 2008 Roadster for sale in 2012 in Los Angeles on eBay. And although not confirmed, the seller alluded to the fact that it was a well-known celebrity owned vehicle whose identity he could not disclose. I suspected that this may have been George Clooney's Roadster and began buying plane tickets to go see the Roadster. At the last minute, it occurred to me that one of my friends here in Phoenix had a lightning green 2011 Roadster. And I called him and asked him how he liked the car before commuting all the way to Los Angeles to see George's car. He told me his Roadster was also celebrity owned since he bought it from Bubba Watson a rapidly emergent top golfer at the time. He also shared with me that he had two little girls and since the passenger seat in the Roadster lacked an airbag shutoff, he felt it was unsafe and decided to sell his Roadster. So we struck a deal and the 2011 became my daily driver. So a year went by and one morning as I was taking my lunch pail out of the trunk of my Roadster, one of our UPS field engineers walking by asked what the big black box in the trunk was. And I pointed out that this is a three phase inverter that converts that thousand pound battery pack into three phase AC to propel the three phase AC induction motor that sits directly underneath that PEM. He quickly pointed out that sounds just like the equipment he services in data centers. The only difference being is what it powers, a data center or a three-phase AC induction motor to propel the car. As most things in life, a paradigm shift occurred right then and there on the spot as I realized we have been in the Tesla service business all along without realizing it. From there, I went on Craigslist and found someone advertising Tesla Roadster Repair Services and after a successful interview, hired him as an electronics lab manager since we just so happened to have an opening for that very position at that time. His charter was not only to manage the electronics lab in which we service and repair inverters and UPS power modules and battery packs, but now we began to advertise Tesla Roadster repair services. So we got our first Roadster customer from the Bay Area with a failed PEM. Tesla's only solution had been a replacement, which was $10,000 at that time. We repaired and rebuilt it for around $2,000 and our Tesla service business was launched. Word in the community that another option for service had emerged spread quickly. Customers began to seek us out 
and one successful repair became many. We also began applying decades of critical power equipment experience in rebuilding these types of power electronics. A world in which proactive service is as important and remedial maintenance since downtime in a data center is avoided at all cost. We acquainted the Tesla community with the notion that waiting for a failure in a major assembly like a drivetrain out of production is just like playing Russian roulette. So as we worked on Roadster PEMS, we uncovered engineering problems like the failing insulating material and began issuing and sharing tech tips. One tech tip became many as additional engineering problems, especially the aging related ones, were discovered. Solutions were found and they were all shared with Tesla, which had emerged into a collaborative partner. What makes us so good at any of this is the fact that like Tesla initially, the critical power equipment OEM saw us as a competitor and sharing schematics, test procedures, equipment, anything deemed intellectual property was out of the question. So we learned to reverse engineer and create our own. We merely applied the same processes to Tesla electronics, turning our R&D team loose on recreating Tesla schematics, developing test procedures, improving the design, and again sharing with Tesla, which initially caught them by surprise. We're proud to say that today, partnership with Tesla both supply chain and roadster engineering continues to improve. And we're one of the few companies that they trust to collaborate with on their early roadster vehicles. Our innovative processes designed to extend the life of and repair main battery packs, both roadster and out of warranty model S establishes us as leaders in the field. We have rescued more dead roadsters than anyone on the planet and our proprietary cell isolation procedure allows us to repair battery sheets right down to the cell level, reducing our need to find, as in the case of Roadsters, scarce to non-existent replacement battery sheets. Our Tesla Roadster PEM rebuild processes have evolved as the most advanced in the industry, assuring these early Tesla Roadsters will continue to survive into this next century from daily drivers to collector cars. I hope you enjoyed our brief company history. I'm Pete Gruber, and thank you again for joining us.